Hey everybody uh, here at Retro World, trying to get as much information for everybody as possible, anybody who can't be here. So uh, I have uh, Dan, aka oh. Citrus3000 PSI, um, one of the members of the Pixel FX team. So we're going to try to ask a little a couple of questions. Maybe he can give us some insights of stuff that's coming soon uh, and stuff that uh, isn't released yet. All right, so first off, Dan, do you have any updates of um, existing products? I know we've talked a lot about the um, the FX framework, just mm -hmm. the existing mods you have. Yeah, it's been tough with the chip shortage. Uh, we'll, we have to go through a lot of decisions about what we can make, what's available now, what might be available in the next two months or whatnot. So that's why we have focused on a new DC kit. Um, it'll be a drop-in replacement um, that'll support the FX framework. That hopefully will be released this year. Everything's always a hopeful. Um, you never know, you know, the parts will be gone next two weeks, but right now they are available for us to make it work, so we're trying to move forward with that. Um, we have the Infinity Switch, um, which hopefully will be released this year as well. Same thing with the Dreamcast. Um, and things like the Morph, um, parts are tougher on those, so it's just kind of waiting. PS2 is a big question, PS2 digital kits, that's again, we're waiting on a specific chip that's not available yet. I actually did have a question about the, um, the Morph. I was looking into a little bit about making an auto switcher for the Xtron Crosspoint, kind of making a board that might go between the VNC connectors and like another console. And some of those VNC connectors are really expensive. I mean, like dollars each one. I mean, maybe you got a little cheaper if you buy a bunch of them. Is that going to be part of like the cost maybe of the Infinity Switch? Is it like, do you imagine this is going to be? Well, people on the Infinity Switch, the, the modules, the hats will be, will be a slightly different price depending on what. Um, what the cost of the connectors are. So SCAR is probably the cheapest of all of them. You know, then you got component, next video is probably the next, and then VNC is probably the most expensive. But yeah, when you, when you get the stuff in small quantities, um, it's a little more expensive, but when you do get higher quantities, the price goes down a little bit. Is it too early to mention anything about price? Um, it's still... Or at least you have like a price range of like where you think this might sit. I would say, I mean, we, there's no there's no definite guarantees of what a final price is. I mean, we're if we, we wanted to make it to where we can afford it. I mean, I really honestly don't want to say a price because I don't want to like <laughs> shoot myself in the foot later on. You sure. know? Yeah, no, um, that's fine. Like, were you when you when you were designing it, were you thinking this is the consu this is the type of person that I'm looking to build this for? So we're to. looking at people that you know maybe want a G scar that kind of market of people. So you know, like an eight input. Um, you know, maybe a little more expensive than like a G Star or something like that, but something you know, priced around around that. I saw somebody on Twitter mention uh, something about availability of a GC loader, and you said that you were working on a new design. Yeah, uh, just a, a different design that just takes care of the part shortage issue. So. So it's going to be this a similar product, but just um, just available, just available. It was an able manufacturer. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, with just all the digital kits, we have a lot of stuff that's just on the back burner and just waiting to... Oh, that's right. You Now, I know that... I think you might have been on a live stream with Bob, uh, maybe last year some, or earlier this year sometime. You you talked about, like, sort of a roadmap of new mods, new co new consoles that you mm -hmm. hadn't really said before. Um, are there any plans? Or, well, can you say anything about what uh, you might come out with next? Like, how the Pixel FX mods are coming next for. I know it was kind of like if, a shotgun. If, if, chip, if chips were all available right now, we would definitely do PS2. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And we would obviously have all the other N64 and PS1 kits. In stock? And, yeah, running. But PS2 is really the next one that we want to do. It's, you know, we promised it and obviously we haven't delivered it <laughs> made. So that's, that's it. That's it. Um, what about an update to the GC Dual? Is there going to be, I mean, yes, you, I think you said that you would like to have a GC Digital. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, we've, we've done some preliminary, you know, designs and whatnot, but nothing's set in stone about when that would land or um, how soon. The Wii may be more of an enticing option. Mm -hmm. um, you think that's more team. popular maybe than the uh, as far as... Right maybe not more popular, but... You get more use out of a Wii. I mean, they play GameCube games, and you know, you kind of a two for one. But well, we have designs for both, right? And then uh, maybe an Xbox digital. Is that? Yeah, uh, the Xbox is kind of covered a little bit. Or yeah, it's you... the Make Mega Hertz mod's pretty good. Um, so, so because of that, do you kind of think, oh, we don't need to worry about that at all, or is that like no, when we get around to it? No, the, the retro community is so big, and there's room for 
everybody's mods. There's no, you know, you know one mod's there, it doesn't have to be there. I mean, and honestly, friendly competition is good. Sure. Um, yeah. Drives Different innovation features and, and helps, really just helps the consumer out. Um, so, no, there's the Xbox is just. The, other, the Wii and GameCube and <laughs> PS2 are just more important right now. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Awesome. Uh, is there anything else you can think about? That you no. Want to I say mean, to yeah. I mean, uh, something you can't say, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, thanks, everyone. I'm sure I'm gonna have some other stuff in here. So, uh, and thanks, Dan, for taking the time to have this quick interview with me.